Howdy everyone, my name is SK Pac-Man and welcome to Soma. And you're gonna think, wait, I've been here for a year, I've seen him play the beginning of Soma. Well, hold you under your britches. Um, since it's been over a year since I played the beginning and I don't remember everything that went on, um, I still haven't watched anybody else play the game. I wanted to experience this game from the beginning again, all, not all at once, but in a, a good sequence where um, I don't have to worry about the uh, losing spots in the game because last time um, I ran out of time to record it. This time I hope I have enough time and energy to record the whole thing um, because it is really scary. It is uh, some pretty heavy subjects that I understand. Um, but yeah, we're, we're going to dive into... I'm just going to hit new game on normal mode and we're going to start over because a fresh start is what this series needs. I started it... Again, I started it a long time ago and I never really picked back up on it. Um, so the the previous episode, the, the old one that I, uh, I already did, the one, I haven't watched it again. I deleted that episode. We're going to start the series over again. Good? <laughs> okay. New game. Uh, yep. Ooh, I like the loading thing. Reality is that which, when you stop believing in it, doesn't go away. Are you okay, Simon? I think you're bleeding. Think I'm bleeding. Oh, that, oh, that's shit. nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. Okay. Here, take this. Fucking weird. No, that that's for later, for the scan. It's green. It was red in that picture. Ashley, I need to tell you something. Simon, please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. Okay. Why Ooh. now? Who's David Munch? Why is there never enough time? For what? Whoa. Excuse me. Christ. Oh. Yeah, I'm up. Yeah, I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. I remember. Yeah. Are you all right? Yeah. Yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't Absolutely. worry, I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. Yep. Alright, so I got my phone. Get out of bed. Um, I'd also like to mention that this is made from uh, by Frictional Games. They're the ones that did the um, oh, there's a computer over there. They're the ones that did the uh, Where did Amnesia. I put the tracer fluid. Shush. They did the Amnesia series, and they are really, really good at horror. Hey, there's nothing in there. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. What's this? Hey, Simon. It's Jesse. You working this weekend or what? Ooh. I knew there was something you were doing. So right click to throw stuff. Or next. Anywho, just shoot me a mail or something. Move stuff around. Love you, miss you, mean it. End okay, all fuck you. messages. I swear, that guy has the memory of a goldfish. I even sent an email to remind him, didn't I? Did I? Oh, so stuff Come that I can on, mess with. Radioactive Turn tracer control. fluid, where are you? Shush. Let's do this thing. David Munchie, thank you again for particip participating in our research. The scan will be performed at the Pace Laboratories in Toronto. But since we are guests, our access is a bit unpredictable. I'll try to schedule a scan session for Saturday. That's a lot of S's. I'll get back to you when confirmed. Sincerely, David Munchie. New prescription. Mr. Jarrett, I am happy to hear that your headaches have become less frequent. Your latest tests show that your brain is slowly recovering, but it's still too early to tell how well it will adjust to the damage. The bleeding will continue over the coming months, at least, and you will need to come to the hospital a few times to drain the cavity to prevent blood from building up pressure. 
Uh, since excessive stress could be fatal, I have written you a prescription for Razosin. I think that's how you pronounce that. To help with your nightmares, please read the instructions and medicate accordingly. Try to get a lot of rest, and I will see you next week. Sincerely, Aaron Peak. Uh, draft. Oh, Saturday off. This is the thing he was talking oh, about. I forgot to hit send. Yep. Better late than ever. Uh, since you probably forgot, here's the here's me reminding you that I've got a doctor's appointment tomorrow. I.e., I'm not coming to work. Means you'll need to make sure that you're actually on time and open up the store. Please unpack boxes behind the counter. They're starting to become workplace hazard. Also, books tend to sell much better if they're put on shelves where people are able to actually see them. Good luck. You'll need it, Simon. So apparently he works at uh, the Grimoire, which is a bookstore, I guess. May 1st, 2015. Yeah, go ahead and send it. Better late than never. That, that's what I just said. Okay. Oh, that's not what I meant to click. Okay, right clicks to get out of that. See, stuff that I can pick up glows purple. Uh, mouse to rotate purple things. Uh, view text. Oh, get well soon, love mom. Cool. There's no text to read there. But there is... Summer's coming. Hope it's a good one. That's a nice sticker for the grimoire. Wow, it's nice and pretty out there. Alright. Ah. I just noticed the light switch. Ah. So the place isn't so bad. Let's go turn on this light switch. Yeah, nice. Okay, this place, place isn't so creepy when you turn on the lights. What's with the dust particles in the air, though? Interesting. Toilet. And close you. Window. Can't open the window, but that's an interesting effect on the glass. I like it. Let's see. Uh, rotate. Oh, that's just toothpaste. I can fuck off. Um. Yep. Shit. So it's not in the bathroom. I don't think. Cup. Let's just set the cup back down in there. Razors. Let's just set the razor down in there. Let's put everything in the sink. Just everything in the sink. Just right in the sink. Okay. You. Ah! Oh. Okay. Oh, there's a light switch in here, too. Oh! Nice lights. I like the little box lights. Those are nice. That is one dirty looking to oh. I thought I heard a noise. Putting your clothes over the radiator to dry them. Oh. Let's see. Nice toes. Looking down your crotch. Nothing? Okay. What are you? Grimoire or Robin McConnell. Uh Aaron Peak Pace Laboratories. Okay, this is, oh, that's a picture of those two together. Hey, he's a handsome devil, isn't he? Let's see, what's this? Uh, ocean. Is that a sticky note I can read? No, no sticky notes you can read. How about, how about you? Anything? Nothing? Um, there is a, an Android game that this reminds me of. That's interesting. So he's a photographer. DSLR. Oh, sorry. I'm just going to throw that. Nice lenses. Oh, nothing written on it. Coffee shop. Nothing written on that. Let's see. I don't know. Is that a... Oh, it's a bug on a stick. Interesting. No books. Nothing to read here. I already looked in those drawers. Is there anything in here? Sunglasses. Uh, nope, nothing good in there. Hooked. Uh, Mark and Dana Miller have finally caught a break. Blah, 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 blah. It's a scary book. Okay. Is there anything else in here that I was supposed to read? 
Downtown accident kills young woman. Yesterday, a driver distracted by her children ran a red light, causing her to blindside a car in the intersection of Bloor Street and Spadina Road. The mother and her children, traveling in a robust SUV, were left bruised but largely unharmed. The other party was less lucky. The car crashed into the passenger side Ashley Hall 23, sustained devastating damages and suffocated from blood trapped in her lungs before the ambulance could arrive. That is a bad way to go. Her friend and driver, Simon Jarrett, 26, survived, but with complicated results, believed to leave him with permanent brain damage. Driver of the SUV, whose names have been released by the police, claims it was an accident and practically unavoidable. That's one fucked up car. Let's stay on the back. Game ends with a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> is is that foreshadowing seriously you're going to put it that blatant at the beginning of the game okay is there anything else in here no game ends with a surprise that's funny what are you cinema variety summer blockbuster hit massive recoil flawless execution okay what else is down here uh Commonwealth and cinema. All right, I already did that. Okay, what's in the bottom one? Uh, just more photography crap. Okay. Mapping Mines, Albert Isaacson. So he was reading up on the whole brain scan problem thing. Massive recoil, the game. Oh my god, is, is that a Y Box 300? Oh. Okay, sorry. Me being an idiot. Uh, nothing in there. There it is. Ah. Well, I, I, I don't want to pick it up just yet. I want to look around for just a sec. Nothing but, but fast food. Oh, seriously? I buy something healthier on my way home. You, how about. Eh, you stay in there. It's like frozen meals, pizza. Yep, you need to eat healthier. There's a metal tin in the trash. Uh, let's see. Oh, grab my keys. Simon Jarrett. Toronto. Oh, that's just my mail. Socks, shoes, jacket. Just gonna go out in my PJs. Ugh, dude, clean up after yourself. That is, that is bad. Um, I don't think there's anything else in here, is there? Oven. Oven. Ah, interesting. I'm guessing this beginning is just the tutorial area to show you how the mechanics work. All right, give me this. Use an object, and drink it. And bottoms up. Glug, 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 glug. Feels like milk, but the Ugh. taste, it's like sucking on a penny. Yuck. That sounds disgusting. All right, let's go turn off lights. That's a thing in my house. Excuse me. You heard that right. Okay, okay. What's those? Oh, let's leave the PC on. It's fine. Turn you off. Turn you off. You off. And let's go. Oh hey! Oh, see in in uh, amnesia, you didn't see other normal people. It was always either monsters or bad stuff. Excuse me. Oh, just from the grimoire. Answer. 
Jesse. Hey, Simon. I got your email. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got you covered. Thanks. Cool. I should be able to come to the store after the scan. Don't sweat it. I got Matt and Chris help me out. Matty from SNL? Uh, guess you didn't hear. He's coming in full time. Work in the comic section. That's okay. Ashley's job. Yeah. Well, you know. Forget it. Not doing her any favors by leaving an empty spot. Not like True. she's coming back. Well, True. We need luck. to learn to move on. Hope they find a way to reverse the whole, you know, dying thing. <laughs> dying thing? You're the worst support ever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what should I say? I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't burn the place down while I'm gone. Over and out, buddy. Yeah. Really? And she kind of looks like Max from Life is Strange. Lady way over there. Sure. Rendo. Hello? Oh, there Hello? Were you doing a thing? Dr. Munchie? Munchie doctor? Ah, light. Where is everyone? Yeah. I thought this place would Hello? be busy. Do I, need to, do I need to go up there? No. That yellow is terrible. With mustard. What do we got? Uh, Paul, where are you? We've got a few hours. Got a hold of Simon Jarrett. Let's do this. Sell your laptop at the reception. Are you ready? Here, call me ASAP. Get your stuff ready. I talked to Pace about using lab this week. I've managed to book the scanner for tomorrow morning again on Friday. It's a, not a lot, but it said we can use the empty reception area as kind of office. It would allow us to use their company computers to run models. And also, if a time slot opens up, we can get in there and use the scanner rig right away. Uh, do a scan of each other. Uh, she has a patient that was recently in a car crash. Could be interesting. Sent. We're locked out. Uh, found some extra time in the lab today. Unfortunately, nobody told us that the code change. So I called security, talked to Professor Wei, who have to have him vouch for our project, and finally got a hold of some some honcho over at Pace's legal department that could re-grant us permission to use the lab. Not allowed to repeat the code in emails, text, but leave a note somewhere or something in case we forget. Cool. So there's a note. There's a note. I need to look for a note. Note pad. Uh, two five oh one. You look. Pens. Close you. I'm guessing it's the two five oh one. There's a USB drive. Let's see, trial and error. Put your scalpel away, and the brain can heal itself. Mm. Nice PC. Can I turn the PC off? The lamps that don't do shit. Okay, cool. 2501. 25. Oh, one. Got it. Squeeze me. Huh. Hold shift while moving to. Uh, why would you tell me to run? Seriously? All right, that's locked. That's locked. Are you? Yeah, you're locked. Interesting. How about this? Well, it says explosive, so... Ooh, that's dark. Let's check this room first. I switch? Ah, ooh, server room. Interesting. Fucked up that uh, motherboard there. I like the huge wide screens. Those are nice. Big needle. Oh, I don't need that. It's a brain scan data. Interesting. What are you? I want to see what you are. You look interesting. I don't know what that is. Okay. Interesting. So that's all that is. Cool. Let's close that door and never speak of it again. I can't read it. I see a Steve. Okay. 
there anything on here that I need to know? Just a bunch of data. Oh, door opened into my face. Oh, hey, there's a person. Hello, person. Hey. Oh, hi. Didn't hear you come in. Simon Jarrett, right? Yep. Dr. Munchie? Well, it's uh, just Mr. Munchie, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Actually, you're helping Don't touch me right me. now. Is this part of your thesis work? Yeah. It's a study I'm doing with my colleague, Paul Berg. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Okay. Oh, did you uh, take the tracer fluid? Yes. yes. Yes, I did. Great. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. So, what exactly are we doing? We're going to do a scan of your brain. Then we build a computer model of it and bombard it with stimuli. The program will help us to quickly iterate your treatment plan until it's fully optimized. Okay. In short, develop the perfect treatment for your condition. So it's not just a study. This will actually help me. I should hope so. Otherwise, this would be a huge waste of time. <laughs> okay. You know I have a serious condition, right? You heard about the car crash, the X months to live deal? Yes, I heard. Must be hard having to hear that. As you know, it's because your brain is weakened so much that it can start to bleed every so often. Yeah. And if it ever gets real bad, it will kill me. Well, we probably can't restore your brain completely, but we should be able to make those X months turn into years. Decades, even. And if you take care of yourself and don't do anything too crazy, we should be able to get you to outlive the best of us. Cool. I really hope you're right about this. Me too. This could make a huge difference for how we treat people with brain damage. So, what do you say? Should we get going? Yeah, I guess. Sure. Let's get started. Take a seat. Oh, it won't let me talk to you anymore? Okay. Whoa. I want to look at what you're doing first. Wow. It like takes, takes slices from different angles and sections and things. That's cool. So it does a physical and neurological map or? Have a seat. Whenever you're ready, have a seat. Let's get this show on the road. Okay. I, I will do the thing. Ready when you are, beam me up, Scotty. Okay. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, hey, cool. It's All a right. see-through thing. Let me just get this out of the way. I'm guessing it's you just like Simon a visor. Jerry, correct? Right. Right. Toronto, Canada. David Munchie. Born 1988, July 16th. Right. Oh, he's Five younger than me. Version six. Good. All files in order. Well, this hurt. It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. Foreshadowing. Oh. Well, let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> Ready? Say cheese. Fuck you. Okay. Next. Hello? What happened? Hello? See, I already got theories going. My, my brain Hello? is just... My brain is going. Mr. Munchy? Hi. Did something go wrong? I think something did this go wrong. This isn't funny. This isn't where we left. Uh, I'm not supposed to put whoa. myself in. Fucking hell! Whoa! Hey! No! 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 Oh! There's suits. What the hell is this place? There's How did suits. I get here? So there's two suits missing. I can figure this out. I just need to stay calm. No need to make things worse. Yeah. Whoa! This is whoa. I'm hearing sounds. All right, service console, insert Omni. I don't have an Omni tool. Where do I get an Omni tool? The fuck is an Omni tool? Okay, can I break the window? That's loud! Oh my god, that's loud! Holy fuck, that's loud! No. 
I heard, like, a grumbling... Yeah, that. Hello? Hello? Go get it. Okay. Okay, so, um, I'm actually all out of time for this episode. Thank you everyone for watching, and thank you everyone for, uh, sticking along with me. Uh, we're, I'm, I'm doing this, because I know the last episode, I, uh, the last time I recorded this, we did much longer episodes, and I honestly don't have the time for that. I'm going to record, uh, 20, 25, 30 minutes, somewhere between there, um, for each of these episodes. So, if you're wanting longer ones sorry i don't really have the time to do longer episodes but we're gonna leave this episode here for now thank you everyone for watching thank you for uh coming back and re helping me reboot this series if you enjoyed this episode if you want me to continue this leave a like or an upvote uh let me know in the comments below uh other games that you want me to do similar to this one or uh how i'm doing or if there's anything i need to watch out for but no spoilers no spoilers Anything spoiled, I will delete. Um, I'm mostly going to be ignoring comments unless there's something that I absolutely have to know. But um, if you're new here, subscribe or follow, and I will see you guys next time.